<sighs> More rain. Too bad I can't do anything about that. Yet. Ah, you are awake. Good. Did I oversleep? Sorry about that. It is no matter. I used the extra time for training. I was gonna say, it's good to see you back at it. It feels good as well. The routine helps. Is Eli downstairs? I thought I'd check in on him. He is rarely anywhere else. Okay, I'll leave you to your training. Thank you. Just a sec. What's up? Just wanted to check in before we head out again. Everything okay? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm still processing everything from last night. I'd come to terms with never seeing my family again. But knowing Elijah's a fire mage, that makes things complicated. Complicated? Elijah's your family. I can't think of anything more simple than that. Yeah, I guess you're right. <clears throat> Something wrong? Nothing, sorry. Just a headache. It's nothing. How about you head upstairs? Yeah, sure. See you there. Listen, you. I fought tooth and nail to get back into this body, and I'm not giving it up again now. So you stay calm, and you stay quiet, until I figure out how to shut you up for good. Not everything. Not by a long shot. So, just relax, would you? I can't focus with you jabbering away in my head. <sighs> Doesn't matter. You'll go to sleep in time, just like you did before. I'll just have to ignore you until then. Hey, you all right? You're looking a little intense there. Me? Sorry, I was just reading that poster over there. That's where they do Shakespeare plays on the subway, right? Yeah, Maury and I used to do that back in the day. Good times. You've never killed Julius Caesar until you've done it in times- Huh? No, I didn't say anything. Something wrong? KK says someone's calling your name. She is. I swear to God, I'm not saying your name. Oh, is this our stop? What's wrong? What? He's possessed again. What? what? Ah, you know, I really thought I could make it work this time. Jesus, what hit me? Oh, crap. Guys, wake up. I once did three performances of Macbeth back to back every day for a week. I can handle this. Also, regenerative magic. That helps too. It's getting away from you that I want. Everything else is just a bonus. They aren't your feet. If I can take it, so can you. Don't be so sure. It took him a year to find me the last time, and that's only because I screwed up. Dunno. Been running through these old maintenance tunnels at random. If I don't know where we're going, then nobody else will either. I'll find an exit eventually. Then I'll plan my next move. They took so long to find me, I didn't even notice them on my tail until it was too late. I got cocky, what can I say? I'm only human. 
figure out what to do with you to start with. Really, you're nothing but trouble. <laughs> yeah, very clever. Wait, you're not kidding, are you? <laughs> My god, it's kind of funny. I guess technically that's true, but how was I supposed to know it would lead to this? Just the irony. You wouldn't get it. Hi. Oh, it's you. Oh my god, shut up! Yeah, my kids used to say that when I told them to clean their room. Guess how well it turned out for them. Here's a hint. Not as bad as it'll turn out for you. How the hell did you find me down here? Oh, that? I've got your energy signature, remember? From the ritual knife? The what? Forgot about that, did you? We couldn't find you before because we could only track the version of you that possessed that body. So, you know, thanks. You actually made our jobs much easier. Easier, huh? I know where your power comes from, Fire Mage. I know how it works. You think I can't hold my own against you? Me? No, oh, I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just a distraction. Huh? you were giving up smoking. I was trying to quit to save my voice for the show. Not much point in that now, is there? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, you missed the whole shit show. The show's done. Kaput. Our fearless directors had a meltdown. Everyone's walked out. Only Mori is left. Are you okay, Serena? Me? I'm dandy. I'm like a Greek Audrey Hepburn out here. But whatever. The show's done and good riddance. If you want to go and deal with Mr. Prima Donna, go ahead. Huh? Oh. It's you. I guess you heard. I know a little bit. What happened? It's over, is what happened. Zack's gone off the deep end. He's not coming back. I mean, he's had his moments before, but this... Why? Is Zack alright? No! No, he's not all right. No, he's ten times worse. I blame you for this, you know. We need a writer and a director, you said. My old friend Zack does both, you said. What the hell were you thinking? What did Zack do now? Nothing. Everything. Ugh. Zack says the play isn't good enough. He wants to do rewrites. Rewrites? We open next week! He's added four major characters, he's changed over half my lines, Serena's too, and he's still not done. He says the ending needs to be more impactful. That doesn't sound like Zack. Well, maybe you didn't know this guy like you thought you did. We don't know what to do. You know him the best. Could you talk to him? I'll try, I guess. Thanks, I'll, I'll just be here. Go away, Maury, please! Hello to you, too. What? You? What the hell did you do to me? Hey, you wanted to be a brilliant playwright. Now you are. Yeah, but... Ugh, I can't stop! It's like she controls me when I don't write. It hurts! Fine. Where's the book? It's somewhere in here, but, but I can't stop writing. You gotta get me to stop, please. Amuse. You called Amuse. Yes, and now she won't go away! You cannot will inspiration away. That's not how it works. Nobody understands how dangerous the creative force often is. She's right. If you didn't want this, you shouldn't have summoned her here. You told me to! You gave me the book and told me to! You didn't have to say yes. You always were easily led, Zack. Stop judging and help me! It will be a play for the ages, remembered for centuries to come. Assuming he survives long enough to complete the process, not many do. Huh? Oh, 
Oh, thank Christ. Better? It's not gone completely, but yeah. In a few minutes, I'm going to be scrambling for a pen and paper, but I'm good. For now. So where's the book? You think you can reverse what happened? I thought I wanted this. I thought I needed this, but... Just give it to me. I am not so easily dismissed, Zachary. I don't care anymore. I just want you gone. Yeah, this is it. It's ready. You prime the pump nicely. Huh? The pump, Zach. Some low-level magic to get things started. That and some good old-fashioned blood sacrifice. What? I've always hated you, Zach. Oh, great, great Melchorissa, spirit, spirit of knowledge, knowledge come, come to me. me. I, give I give to you this body, body as your, as your refuge, refuge in this, this world. world. That's a rush. What did you do? You know, it might be a good idea for you to leave and forget everything that just happened while you're at it. Hmm. What? Oh, Zachary's dead. Did you kill him? Well, I suppose these things happen. <sighs> so, what's the story? Well, why are you staring at me like that? Oh, shut up, Maury. Oh, hello. Melchorissa, isn't it? Welcome to my brain, I guess. Yeah, the book warned me that might happen. You share your knowledge with me, and I share my memories with you. You're like an encyclopedia. You have data, but you don't know how to think. I can do that for you. Speaking of, is there really a dryad trapped in the North Woods? Amazing. Is something wrong? Oh, don't worry about them. They had it coming. You didn't do anything. Just feels like you did because we're sharing memories. Besides, you're an incorporeal spirit with no mind of your own. Why do you even care? Okay, look. No, I am in control here, not you. You can rewrite memories, can't you? Yeah, you can. I can see it. Remember this night however you want to. Whatever makes you live with yourself. As for me, I have business to take care of outside. May you be snatched away from this place! Let go of me! You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Now, KK. Turn it on now. Did... did we get it? Oh yeah. We got it. We friggin' got it. So, how do you feel? Yeah, are you... you? Um, can it wait? Nasty demon in the subway tunnels, we should probably do something about that. Um, guys? Are demons supposed to look... human? What do you mean? This demon, it looks like... Well, yeah. It looks like you. What? Yeah. Care to tell us why? Answer the question. Actor or not, I will know if you are lying. You're Melkaressa? But that means... That means you exorcise the wrong spirit. Twice. Morons. You're not the demon? He gets it. I'd clap, but, you know. But how? It shouldn't be possible to exorcise a human soul. You fry it. Lucky for me that you suck at this. You be quiet. Eli, the words in that exorcism spell, they do not actually specify demon, do they? No. It's broader than that. The exact words were... 
wicked spirit. Yeah, well, I always was good at pretending. Hell, that was my life, wasn't it? Getting paid to pretend. Everyone said I was a great actor, that I was just hiding who I really was, all the time. Nobody else understood. Maury and Serena and the others, they did it for fun. I did it to survive. Please, cease talking. No. This is who I am. This is who I always have been. When I got my body back, I thought I could pretend again. Get back to living a normal life. But that's not possible, is it? And maybe that's a good thing. I'm so sick of pretending. Oh god, shut up already! Logan, can you and the kids zap him into the afterlife or something? Um, I don't think so. He's not actually dead, is he? What do you think I am, some helpless ghost? I have learned a lot from you, Melkrisa. I still have power at my disposal, body or no body. See you soon. You are awake. We were watching you in shifts. It seemed... a sensible precaution. No, you did not. Did I ever tell you that I am an avid fan of the theater? I go as often as I can, which is less often lately. I have a confession. I met you once, several years ago. The performance where this picture was taken. I was in the audience. Do you remember anything about that performance? Anything at all? It was excellent. I enjoyed it very much. My point is, I came to see you after the show. It was only for a moment. I doubt you'd remember it. I wanted to congratulate you on your performance. You, or rather, that other you, was gracious, genuine. But it was a lie, and I did not see it. He was full of hate, for his colleagues, for everything. So I must ask, does any of that hatred remain inside his head? Truly spoken, and that is all I needed to hear. We will meet you downstairs.